Hi, and welcome to Martin's Innovations Kitchen. Today we're going to talk about caramelized onions, and we are going to make caramelized onions in a very short time. So first we're starting with two medium-sized yellow onions. I like to use yellow or Spanish onions because it gives it more flavor. If you use a sweeter onion, then of course your caramelized onions are going to be sweeter. So first let's get these onions peeled. Now what we're going to do is we're going to chop the onions very thin. So first I'm going to cut them in half. Just move that. And we're going to chop them very thin. So now we need to get our frying pan out. Okay, so I have my frying pan all ready to go. I have it on medium high heat. I'm gonna put a quarter stick of butter in there and let the butter melt before we're ready to get the onions in it. Our butter is sizzling and we are ready to put our onions in. So we're gonna put our onions right in that nice melty butter. Get them cooking. Breaking them apart as I'm putting them in just to so, just to help the process along a little bit. And I'm gonna hit that with a little bit of kosher salt. Okay, so I'm going to uh, break these apart even a little bit more and make sure they're all nice and coated with that yummy butter. I think we have them all coated and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a lid on it so that we can keep all that moisture in and get those onions softened up really quick. We'll let the lid on for about one to two minutes and then we'll check them. Okay, it's been about a minute and a half and so we're going to check the onions and see how they're doing. Oh, they're looking good. Getting nice and soft. Oh, that butter's working. I'm gonna cover them again for another one to two minutes and let them get a little bit more brown. Okay, let's check these onions out. Let's see if they're getting brown yet. Yes, they are. You see that? That brown on the bottom, that is exactly what we want because that is what's going to give our onions that nice caramelization color. Get them all stirred up there, make sure they're all broken. Now typically it would take a good 45-50 minutes if you did this the slow way, um, but you don't always have time for that. I'm, what I'm showing you here today is uh, the quick way. We talk to a lot of chefs that make a lot of delicious burgers with caramelized onions, and there's a lot of opinions about caramelized onions and how they're made. Um, some people like to dice them. Some people like them sliced thin like this. Some people like to put them right on the grill with the burgers so that they are fried right with the burgers. Um, and, you know, some people just need to do them very quick like this. And this is what I would do at home if I was cooking for our family. Because, you know, who has time in a weekday evening to make caramelized onions for 45 minutes, right? All right, so we're getting, getting nice color there. Going to flatten them out a little bit. Try to get some more brown on the bottom. Now when you get to this point, it's up to you. If you like them lightly caramelized, if you like them light brown, the longer you cook them, the more the sugar is going to cook out of the onions and the darker they're gonna get. So it's up to you about the tenderness and the color of the onions. 
I have my water ready to go here. If you start to see some of that brown on the bottom of the pan, what you do is you just add a little bit of water. And you just scrape the bottom of the pan just to get all of that brown into your onions. Again, that's what's giving it a nice caramelized color. That water is really getting them nice and soft. I like the color that's coming out. I like that nice brown color. Even though I'm doing this for a demonstration, I think I'm gonna need a burger for lunch so I can eat these. It's gonna be delicious. So the next time that you have some Martin's potato rolls in your cabinet, and you're feeling like a cheeseburger, you know how to make caramelized onions in a short amount of time. Easy peasy. All right, I think we're done. And I'm gonna turn off my burner and dip these out. And there you have it, some caramelized onions ready for your cheeseburger or next culinary creation.